everyone. Uh, this lovely reference is uh, a boat that's beached at Invershield in Scotland and it was taken by David Deemer. It takes some great shots. So let's give it a go today. Uh, let's start on a quarter imperial Saunders Waterford paper. I'm using a, a 4B pencil and I'm looking at the reference and boats are notoriously hard to get the angles right. Uh, I've actually come a little bit high uh, with the painting, so I put a bit of masking tape down and it actually gives me a much wider landscape shape. So I think this is going to be a benefit, to be honest. Right, and we're now doing the first light wash. That's the uh, water to pigment ratio, keeping things very light, very watery right now. Uh, putting in uh, the earth colours, the nice warm of the earth, we've got the cool of the blue and that little bit along the boat which is really important, that little bit of cerulean which is the base colour of that boat. Uh, now just throwing in a little bit of a, a glaze just for where the water is. Don't worry, we're coming back with more colours, stronger colours. Um, right, let's move on to stage two now, which is the uh, the mid-tone section. So you, immediately we're getting into darker, darker colours. And I'm running around the, the cockpit of the boat and I'm painting the cockpit, leaving it light. I'm actually painting it in the negative. Again, something you have to do with watercolour that you don't necessarily have to do with oil. If it was oil, you'd just be painting that cockpit in a light colour in oil. But here we have to leave it and let the white of the paper do all the work, throwing in that, that building over on the right. From a composition point of view, I brought the boat and that building on the right a little bit closer together. It's just a choice that I wanted there. I didn't want such a big gap. Um, and again, as an artist, you can afford to move things around with your composition. Turner old did that very often with his paintings. He'd even move castles from, from left to right that it would suit his composition. Right, let's carry on. You can see I'm, I'm throwing in some strong reds now, some bits of orange. Uh, and what I'm doing now is really a bit of calligraphy. You'll notice I'm letting that blue show through because that is the local colour going really dark underneath the boat. And continuing with my calligraphy, uh, I'm using a lovely pointed red sable uh, rosemary and co brush here. I think it's a number... It's a number six, I think, so it's relatively small. It's got such a fine point. It gives me such a lot of control. Putting in all the, the accents now, the shadows, just going over it. Remembering to retain light, I think that's very important. When I say light, I mean retaining some of those earlier washes that I did. I don't want to get rid of those at all. I'm now using a bit of impasto white, mixing up some Chinese white and with a rigger, a fine rigger brush, Putting in some lines, just a few highlights here and there, and we're done. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's nice and fresh, it's clean, it's not overworked, it's looking good. I did a few little bits and pieces here and there, just tidied up the windows a little bit with a bit of show through, and at the end of the day I think you'd agree it works incredibly well. It's all about the atmosphere rather than the detail, so go on my website to learn all the secrets of watercolour for yourself.